are you do in this video i'm going to show you the features added to the oxygen os 3.5.3 community build for the oneplus 3 and this is also called open beta 4 if you go to settings menu about phone you can find i am using oxygen os 3.5.3 which is based on android 6.0.1 so these are the options or the features that I've added to this build. First of all, it's use AOSP clock as a default clock. So if you go to open the clock, you can see this is the AOSP clock. So they made it as a default one. And the next one is added capability to uninstall some pre-installed application like file manager, weather, recorder, music player. So we can uninstall this application. Let's go and check it out. Here, file manager, this is a system application. I can swipe it and uninstall it right from there. I can do it and then if I want to remove music I can do that. So it's that simple now. And next option is the added expanded uh, screenshots which is the best feature I've uh, seen in this community build. So if I'm taking the screenshot I'll take uh, volume down and power button at the same time to take a screenshot. If you click that you will see an icon here if you click that one it will scroll automatically and then take the end screenshot i can see a big screenshot here this is called the expanded screenshot it is really cool and it's really awesome actually if you want to control the size of that one you can do that also so i will show you again click on this one if i just want to stop it there i can stop it so only this much will take so this is the best option for this update and you should try that one the next one is the added cellular data firewall so this is also a very good uh, function if you go to settings menu and then go to data usage you can see this icon data usage you can click on that one here you can uh, manually edit or block any of these application accessing the internet Suppose if I want to disallow this one, I can forbid or I can give it like Wi-Fi only or data only, I can choose. So this is a really good application. So you can save a lot of bandwidth if you're in mobile data, you can forbid some of the applications. So it's really good. The next one is the added favorite contact setting in priority mode. If you go to a settings menu and alert slider. So you can see if you do not disturb, you find an option called the favorite contact settings. So you can add your favorite contact. So when if you are in do not disturb, you can customize. You will be able to get their calls and messages. And next one is settings menu adjustment in uh, messages. Added the option to vibrate phone when receiving SMS. So here, if you go to settings menu messages, you can receive SMS vibrate. So this option is there. Not a big deal anyway and then contact ui redesign if you go to any contacts you can see the contact has been redesigned and you can see all the associated contacts here which is pretty cool and neatly arranged and then it's fixed the community build cannot flash back to official build issue now from now onwards you can easily flash back to the official build from the community bill there won't be an issue that is good thing very good thing and uh, then general bug fixes so these are the op options added to this build and i highly recommend using this build because it's feature rich so if you want to install this update manually using twitter brfe i will provide a link in the description from there you can download it and then install that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe for more